Hi guys, today we are going to make very delicious pull apart bread rolls stuffed with flavored butter and cheese. So let's get started. For this recipe, first we will activate the yeast. Take half a cup of warm water, add one tablespoon of sugar and one and half teaspoon of instant yeast and mix it well. Let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add one and half cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of oil, two tablespoon of milk, one teaspoon of salt. Now mix it well and make a dough. The dough will be a little bit sticky but that's absolutely fine. Knead it for a while and if it's too sticky and difficult to knead, you can always take a little more flour. Now take a greased bowl and transfer the dough into it. Spread some oil over it and cover it. And rest it for one hour. Now let's make delicious buttery filling for the rolls. Here I have 4 to 5 teaspoon of soft butter to which I'll add around 2 tablespoon of basil pesto. And coriander. You can also add garlic paste or finely chopped garlic to make garlic pull aparts. Now I'm adding herbs like chili flakes, oregano, pepper. I'm also adding salt as my butter was unsalted. Mix it well and keep it aside. Now let's get back to our dough. Dust your wok surface with some flour and knead the dough for 5 minutes. Now divide the dough into half and roll each half into a rectangle. Spread the butter mixture and then some cheese. Roll it and cut into 4 parts. You can cut as thick or thin as you want. Just keep in mind that the baking time will vary. Arrange the roll into a greased pan. I have taken 8 inch square pan. I'll do the same with the other half. and cut into 5 parts and place them in the pan. Now allow them to rise again for another 45 to 60 minutes. Before baking gently give them milk wash. Bake in preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. Once they are out of the oven, the top crust will feel a little hard, but allow them to cool down for at least 20 minutes, after which the top crust will be soft and spongy. Our pull-apart bread rolls are now ready. Look at the texture of the rolls, so soft. These are perfect as dinner rolls, appetizers or even a snack. Do give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section below how it turned out for you. If you guys enjoyed this video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe my channel for more such delicious recipes. Thanks for watching.